We're all looking for a way to reduce our environmental footprint. Choosing the most cost-efficient vehicle will be important, especially if you have a fleet of delivery trucks or ride-sharing cars. But electric vehicles are considered to be too heavy and expensive to run, even though they are more environmentally friendly. Well, Indigo has redesigned the car's wheel to help solve this problem. CEO Will Graylin has a robotic wheel that completely replaces the bulky engine, making it a more efficient ride. Okay, Will, so this is pretty incredible. So there is nothing under the hood. The engine is in the wheel. How exactly does that work? What we have done is really reinvent the wheel and take a motor traditionally that sits between the two wheels and have a shaft that drives the wheel. We actually put the motor directly inside the wheel itself. Now that in itself is not new, which has been around in hub motors since 1899. But what is new is our ability to turn that wheel into a effectively a robot that uh, not only allows you to have propulsion, but also to have active suspension to absorb bumps. So it sounds like a smoother ride, but it also sounds like you have to redesign the entire vehicle. So what does that look like? You're spot on. So effectively, instead of having stuff that's in between the wheel that takes up a lot of space, we put everything in each corner so that we free up all of that usable cabin space to create a lighter weight vehicle that actually has more room inside. When we put a 40 kilowatt hour battery rather than a 70, 90, 120 kilowatt hours, that means that's the most expensive and heaviest part of the vehicle. That means we can save money on uh, lithium, on, uh, on the battery itself but also we can save weight in such a way that we make the entire vehicle lighter such that on a per mile basis, you're paying less for electricity. Now you're focusing on bringing these vehicles to market in the ride sharing space and delivery vehicle space. Why are you targeting these specific areas first? It's because we know that the consumer behaviors are changing in this direction the fastest. We are all now being trained um, to basically pick up the phone and order a ride or order some food, rather than us going to the grocery store or to the restaurants, they're actually coming to us. So you can see the miles that are being driven are being shifted. So we basically focus on two things, unit economics and user experience. So by focusing on lightweight, we address the unit economics right up front and the total cost of ownership. And then by being able to focus in on what the drivers and riders need, which is space, comfort, our vehicles are much um, better suited for the kind of ride share and delivery applications and specifically designed rather than retrofitting an existing consumer vehicle for those tasks. Are you just focusing on the vehicle itself or are you, or are you actually focusing on the larger ecosystem and looking at other products and other services within the electric vehicle space? We're focused on transportation needs um, in general, but it has to start with the round, right foundation. So we believe that reinventing the wheel allows us to re-architect the vehicle and uh, make it more efficient, but also focused on the next level of unit economics and, and uh, ergonomics. And of course, finally, how do you finance and make these vehicles accessible by a lot of the folks that are driving for us that in fact need that level of financing uh, and accessibility. Now it turns out you actually have two day jobs. You're also the CEO of OV Loop. Where are those overlaps between the two companies that you oversee? So I think the clear overlap is um, in the um, cost of driving, particularly when it comes to finance and insurance. And, um, and what that allows us to do as we move towards a data-driven economy is that when you have a super app, that you get a chance to own your own secure lock and key to keep your private data. That means that's where you can store uh, everything from your credit scores, but also your driving scores. And, and I have a good uh, driving score, and I'm probably a pretty credible individual. And even though I may not have the um, money to afford a down payment on a very expensive vehicle, why can't I get the access to maybe even rent this vehicle that requires data. And that's where the overlap of OV Loop as a super app comes in. 
And, uh, and by having that kind of data that you can volunteer to credit companies, insurance companies, even if it's just to lower your insurance cost for your existing vehicle, it's better for the driver.